welcome back. Uh, this is Belt Mike's Way, and I'm Mike. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, pull this blower back off today. We are going to port it. Uh, I'm going to run down and uh, grab the rotor brooch from my work and uh, do it actually most of it there. Uh, so we're just going to get right into it and uh, get this started. Alright guys, didn't really take me too long to get this off, so we're going to pull this upper plenum off. It's already been ported, uh, so we don't need to worry about that today. And then, um, so basically going to go down and uh, port up the main manifold. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the port that's been done on it. Looks like it has a very homemade gasket, so that's pretty crappy. I was gonna blower turns super nice so I don't know I don't worry about any of that Bailey's out there barking up the storm These are really nice shape. Really nice shape. All right, guys, we're gonna fast forward and get you to the. Alright guys, I just started getting after it. Here's what I'm using. These are pretty aggressive. Take your time, they'll get out of hand on you and they'll take a chunk out that you don't want. So, we're gonna get started. All right guys, I'm actually, this has already been ported, so I'm actually feeling up here with my hand the areas that I'm gonna actually have to lay out. I'll put a marker mark all the way around it that I can port the supercharger plenum. Um, it's gonna be a little more difficult, but now I know where I need to port and where not to. Like, for instance, this side where the radius is, it, uh, it lines up really super nice. The one on this side, uh, on the bottom, uh, it needs to be ported around uh, the radius. The back uh, also needs a little bit, and then the front. So everything except for this side is basically needs to be taken about a sixteenth back, uh, maybe a little more. So. All right, this should be it. We should have a really nice match ported manifold here. Feeling good, feeling good. I like it, I like it. That's it. Nailed it. All right, guys, I want to really give you a close up. Tuck a little bit of the, the probably about a 16th or more off all the way around here. We smoothing out all the old castings. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's nice and smooth now. No rough transitions. It's match ported to the intake. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, just take your time if you're doing this. You can do this all by yourself.
I smoothing all this out right here. All that. I cut the same angle down here in this. So this is nice and smooth. Just take your time. You don't gotta spend thousands on porting. You can do it yourself if you want to. Welcome back. We're gonna get the supercharger reassembled today. Uh, we got everything all cleaned up, ready to go. We actually added a port. We went ahead and rounded the edges. Uh, we did some port and polishing uh, on the inside here, getting rid of some of the casting marks. Uh, we also port matched this to our ported intake plenum. So uh, yeah, we we're uh, gonna put it back together today and see how it runs. Hope you guys like it, stick around. That's more than plenty. If you do more than that, it's probably gonna get into your fins. We're gonna make the gasket for around here. I tried ordering it. it, seemed like it was on back order most of the time. Um, kinda got tired of waiting. Like I had just a little bit of silicone. I don't see any of the silicone on the top fins. Just doing a quick wipe here. Looking good. Looking nice. Um, so I bought some stuff to make a gasket. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this over here on the truck. Oh, actually, no. we gotta put. The boost bypass that is for when you start the truck, it makes it easier to start. It's not a, it's not a boost valve, or excuse me, it is not a boost uh, blow off gate or anything like that. This is just test to make sure it works. Easy enough. Nice and smooth. Perfect. So we got that guy on there. Back on there. Again, take this old shirt, put it right over the cover. We'll go with the rest assembly. I just stuck a little gasket uh, silicone on there just to help this thing stick up a little bit. Alright guys, I'm going to do the last bit of the finish up. I already torqued down the bolts for the intake manifold uh, or the upper plenum and the supercharger to the intercooler. So we got to hook up all of our vacuum line, plug in our wiring, uh, pretty much the same old stuff you've seen me do uh, in one of my other videos where we did turkey uh, pan delete. So if you need to see that, go ahead and look in there. Otherwise, we're just going to get right to it and uh, get this thing back together. Our good friend over at JC Customs sent us uh, these idler pulleys when uh, the ones on my bridge are starting to go out and they're making a horrible sound. So I want to throw a shout out, make sure you uh, check his stuff out. Lots of cool CNC stuff for the lightnings, such as these are his door handles. These are CNC black anodized. Um, I really like the stuff in black, so I went with uh, the even the black anodized on the inside. 
Um, I, I really like him. I think he makes a really great product. I uh, hope you guys check him out. And uh, last but not least, he also sent us over, I think this one's for the power steering. So instead of having that cap with all the bright yellow warning signs and everything else on it, we're gonna throw that one on there and uh, we're gonna throw these pulleys on. I hope that gets rid of our squealing belt sound. And uh, the door handles will be coming up in a episode, or excuse me, the door handles will be coming up in a future video. Uh, I'll do a full video on installing those. Uh, can't wait, actually. All right, guys. Uh, <coughs> good old uh, 13 millimeter uh, offset wrench. <coughs> I suspect that this will appear my sound but you got to keep in mind you also have a uh, idler set up on each uh, belt that you have on the lightings and this has two serpentine belts one that drives the blower and one that drives the accessories These are what we're replacing. You can't, you can't interchange these bearings or anything. Uh, you totally can on these. Quick little clip, run, get yourself another bearing. This one barely spins and it's, it's not feeling too good. This one spins a little e easier, but not great. So uh, I hope we found our issue. All right guys, so. it's the next morning. I have already put in our Motocraft uh, supercharging um, synthetic fluid so we're pretty much all ready to go we just got to throw the battery on and uh so she starts up